Hi friends, welcome to A to Z Learning Channel. Indusind Bank published its third quarterly results on Saturday, and today is our first day of trading after they have published their most recent results. Today, it's around one o'clock in the afternoon, and first day of trading after the results have been published. The stock is down over three percent. So the natural question most of you would have is that is there something in the result that is getting reflected in the price? What is the future for this stock? And do we pe do people need to kind of use this opportunity of drop in price as an opportunity to accumulate, or is it time to consolidate losses and get out of it? We will help you review. Analyze the results in detail in this video, and hopefully that detail will give you enough information to help you understand what's likely in the store for the future of this bank stock. So that's all about today's video. Just before I start video and start sharing the results and my analysis on the results. I would like to request two things. As usual, after you have watched our video, if you think you've liked the content, if you think we're doing a good job, then please do press the like button. And if you've not subscribed our channel A to Z Learning as yet, please subscribe and become part of our viewers family. Okay, that's marketing done. Now let's focus on the the content of the video. Indusind Bank's results. So let's talk about that. The screen on the, the table that has come on your screen is a straight lift from the NSC website. NSC website has got Indusind Bank's investor presentation. So if you're if you want a deeper dive in their results, you can go on the NSC website, look for Indusind Bank's investor presentation. And you will see this particular slide that they have, and several other details. It's a, it's a very detailed document that they have published on the NSC website. But I have taken out this particular page, which provides a quick summary on the key highlights of the results. Hopefully, this will help you better understand where the bank stands in terms of their financial performance. Okay, so as you can see, the way to read this is that there are three lines. The first top line is the balance sheet line, where all the components, all the key metrics that are balance sheet metrics are captured in this line. So, for example, loans, deposits, CASA, term deposit, and total assets. Second line is profit and loss. This is where net interest income, total fee income, revenue, operating profit, net profit will be talked about. And then last line is the key ratio line, where we will talk about some of the key ratio to help you assess whether the results are good, bad, or ugly. Okay, hopefully it kind of making sense and you're able to follow me on this. So first thing I want to highlight on this particular table, the table that's on your screen. Is that there are more greens? If you look at these sort of kind of little triangle, green or red, the first observation is that there is a lot more green than the red. Of course, there are few reds on this screen, like cost to income, net interest margin, uh, net NPA. There are there are few red triangles, but there is more of green. If you don't understand anything about the banking business, the one Common sense takeaway looking at just this page is that overall, Indusind Bank has done uh, better performance on most metrics than the uh, than the bad performance. So it's overall, it's a overall summary in one word is that overall the results are a lot stronger. Okay. Now let me highlight you the key things that are very important for a retail investor who's looking to invest in the banking stock to always focus on those four or five key parameters, key metrics. The first one is the CASA. What is CASA? CASA is basically 
the current account and saving account. That's the cheapest way for bank to raise the fund that they then use to lend and give loan. Okay, so what does it tell? When you look at year on year picture, it's up 24%. When you look at quarter on quarter, up 3%. So on both counts, whether you look at sequential performance quarter on quarter, they're doing better than what they did previously. Whether you look at year on year performance, they're doing much better than what they did last year. Their CASA ratio is also 42%. So, and as a background, as a context, you must note that any CASA ratio which is higher than 30-35% is a number considered very good. And Indescent Bank, CASA is up and it's at 42%, which is higher than that 30-35% range that we have talked about. So overall, CASA ratio is a strong indication that the bank's health is really good. Okay. Now let's look at some of the profit and loss. Let's look at the net interest income, 3,793 crores, up 11% year on year, up 4% sequentially, quarter on quarter. That's a very strong performance. Let's look at operating profit, 3,312 crore, 12% up year on year, 3% up quarter on quarter. Net profit, 1,242 crore, up 50% year on year, 8% up quarter on quarter. So looking at the PNL key metrics, there is absolutely no doubt that the bank has performed really, really strongly. All the profitability, all the income related metrics of the bank are showing strong improvement, strong growth year on year, and, and sequentially also solid uh, growth that is happening at this bank. Now let's look at the key ratios. Net interest margin is the first very, very important key ratio. Net interest margin is basically the difference between interest that that bank earns minus the interest that they pay. So they pay interest on the, the deposit that they get or the loan that they uh, take to uh, the money that they raise. Uh, so overall, that's the kind of interest spend and then the interest earn is what they earn on the various loans that they extend to their customers. Any net interest margin number of more than 3% is seen very, very good. Indescent Bank has reported 4.1%. You can see that on your screen. That's slightly down, two basis point down when you look at year on year, but it's up three basis points sequentially. Okay, so that's the kind of story on the net interest margin. Then the other important thing is the return on equity, 10.88%. It's up to 153 basis point year on year, 60 basis point up sequentially. The capital adequacy ratio, which is another important metric, is also 18%. And any number which is more than, I think, 15% is considered very, very good. When you look at net NPA, 0.71. Believe me, any number which is less than 1% in terms of net NPA is considered strong. They are at 0.71. So it's a solid performance, strong performance. Though it is down, or I should say, the not performing assets have gone up 49 basis point year on year, but quarterly, quarter on quarter, sequentially, they are showing the improvement nine basis point reduction. So overall, as I said, the, the first quick look of just focusing on those green triangle versus right triangle gave us the impression that the uh, by and large bank has performed better on most metrics than not. And a quick review of the key metrics also seem to kind of confirm that yes, the bank is a solid performance, solid results. Then the question comes is that why the stock is down 3% today, over 3% today. Results came on Saturday and today is the first trading opportunity for the market to react to the results. Then why is it down 3%? First of all, nobody knows answer for these sort of question. 
how and why market is behaving the way they are behaving. Only in hindsight, people can tell, not while they are reacting to it. But there are a couple of thoughts that I would like to share with you, which hopefully would help you understand why, why the stock could be down 3% on the first day after the result. First of all, market was expecting better results from Indusind Bank. Why they were expecting better results? Because so far, all the banks that they have published the result, they have all given solid performance, solid growth, whether it's HDFC Bank, whether it's Kotak Bank, whether it's ICICI Bank or Axis Bank, or some of the smaller banks like Bandhan Bank and so on. So the performance this quarter across all banks who have published their results is strong. And therefore, Indescent and Bank was also expected to perform better. And that's probably the reason if you look at last one week's performance, the stock price has gone up from its bottom of 826 or around 820 to more like 920, 925 levels. So 100 rupee growth, so which is more than 10% increase in the stock price has seen in less than a week or in a week, which is very, very recent. So those two kind of points would indicate to me that the market was expecting better results from Indus and Bank. Perhaps a small dip in the NPA because its NPAs are up 49 basis points year on year. Its net interest margin is also down two basis points. Though these are very, very small number and sequentially quarter on quarter performance is improving. But on the face of it, trading community, the banking community, uh, the, the investor community is probably reacting to these two negative dots on day one. But this could be an opportunity for many of the long-term investor to buy this, this particular stock and consolidate because they're at the same time on the back of the results, there are a number of targets have been revised for this. Targets are north of 1000 rupees on this in the mid to, in the, in the short to mid term, uh, which, is, which is great. So I think overall, I would say that uh, market is reacting or consolidating because the bank has already seen 10% growth in its stock price. So today, a lot of people are selling to book those profits. Um, and, uh, and that's the reason stock is down. I'm sure in a couple of days time, uh, the recognition of results, overall performance of the bank uh, will, will start to reflect in the stock price. So therefore, in the midterm, next three to six months, uh, unless there's disaster in the budget tomorrow, um, the chances are that this bank stock should go towards the target that people are talking about, which is 1,000 plus uh, share price. So I think that's the quick summary on the Indusind Bank. Hopefully it's helpful. As I said right at the beginning, I had only two requests. The first was if having now watched the full video, if you uh, like if you like the content that we have shared with you, if you like if you think we are doing a good job, then please do press the like button before signing off. And uh, if you've not subscribed our channel to Z Learning as yet, then please do subscribe and become part of our viewers family. Thank you so much for watching our video.